These little silver pinballs are one of American society's most common addictions, and there are still many pinball addicts around. But someday, these machines may become a thing of the past. As we enter the age of electronics, the amusement picture is changing. Video games are taking over. This is a version of Pong, the game that started it all. Today, you can buy Pong attachments for your TV set and play at home. But this looks tame compared to the games that they're playing now. This is one of the most complicated games. It's called Tank 8. The idea is to destroy the other people's tanks, and it's, uh, it's really a wild game to play. Up to eight people can play at one time, and it pretty much turns into a free-for-all. This is one of the newest games here at the machine shop. It's called Biplane 4. The idea is to shoot down the other guy's plane. If you've ever dreamed of living the life of the Red Baron, this is your chance. This game is called Death Race, and it has to be one of the most bizarre games ever invented. If you've ever walked around Miami and felt that the motorists were out to get you, this could be where they're getting that idea. The idea is to drive your car around and hit pedestrians. When you hit a pedestrian, a gremlin screams and a cross pops up. I don't know what happened to the good old days at amusement parks when people used to be satisfied with the simple things in life. This is Daryl Pollock, Channel 4 News.